Hi guys, this is Vishal here from Trapcode. So in the previous videos, we have seen how to fetch data from Superbase and display it on the uh, data table. So we are we are basically doing a series where we are doing end to end integration with Superbase, which uh, are like bringing the data, creation of records, update of data, delete of data, pagination, export, authentication, and all those things. So in this video, we will understand how to download the data from a data table in a CSV. So let's say you have data coming in a data table. Now you want to download the data, you want to download some report. Then let's see how that can be done in Trapcode when the database or the backend we are using is a Superbase and Trapcode is being used as a front-end builder. We're not storing anything at the Trapcode uh, database. We're just bringing everything from Superbase in the real time and just building the complete system end-to-end -end on the data which is coming from Superbase. So I have this data table where we have uh, done a API connection. So we have used an external API and this is the API which we are using, which is basically bringing data from Superbase and just displaying it as it is on the data table. So here we have made a connection. Uh, we have given the header settings, uh, API key and authorization, and we are not passing any dynamic data. And this is what the default or the data is coming. And here we are saying that process the data, but map it to a collection, don't store it anywhere. And after that, we are just using the same settings on data table. And this is how the data is coming. So if I reload, it will make a fresh call to Superbase. Whatever data is there available in the product table, it will just bring and display the data as it is. Now let's say I want to download this data. Okay, so let's see how that can be done. So in the data table, when you drop a data table, it gives you certain more settings like a search form and a CSV download button. But this do not work directly, right? Because we are not yet told what to do, right? If you see it is saying export data setting is not configured. So let's go and configure this. So what I'll do, I'll go back to my external API settings and come to the process response and just enable this export response file. So what does it do? It gives you three more settings here, whether whatever the data is coming, you want to download it as a file. So let's say if the data is already coming in bytes or on PDF file, or something which is already in a file format, right? You don't want to convert it to anything. So you can use this feature, download bytes. Second is when the data is coming in a text or a JSON format, you want to download it as CSV. And third option is when, let's say there is a, a URL of a file coming. So there are a lot of APIs which give you the URL of a file that oh, you click this URL and you will be able to download the file. So we have all those settings. So as of now, since the data is coming in JSON format, so we'll just enable this export data CSV. It is asking me that on which particular uh, JSON path the data is there. So we have already seen that in uh, Superbase, the data directly comes on the root. So you don't have to give any JSON path. It's already at the very first level. So we'll just leave it as it is in the file name. So basically, what is the name of the file you want it to be? So I'll say, let's say product list dot CSV. Okay. So we just give the name of the file. I'll say product list and just save setting. So now we have configured that, okay, uh, when someone is downloading the file, download it as a CSV. So I'll come here, I'll reload the page. And now this button should work because we have already binded the same API to the data table here. Right? So in data table, we are saying get data from external API. And this is the external API which we are just working with. And this data is coming from the, the collection which we have binded to the API response. And this download will also call the same external API, but instead of displaying the data in a tabular format, it will just download the data in a CSV format. Okay, so let's go back to here, to the preview. Let's reload the page. So the fresh data is here. Now let's just download CSV. So if you see, it has downloaded a product list.csv file and it should have all the data which is getting displayed. So this is the data, product table. Now if you go and add new, more records in uh, Superbase, they will get displayed here when you download the new file, obviously. So this is how easy it is to download data which is coming from Superbase in a CSV format. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll continue to make much more uh, deep integration video with Superbase. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.